Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Anti Iron Engines reality update video, episode 12. And you can see I can gain E5000 infinity points, which is crazy. With all of this, I can get five time theorems with infinity points and another four time theorems with antimatter. I'm very close to the next antimatter one. I almost want to get that. I'm not sure if I quite can. I've got enough so that I can do Eternity Challenge 3 with a fully decked time study tree. So maybe I want to do that, but I'm not sure. I really want to get this last time theorem. I'm so close, but I'm just not sure. Let, let's see. Am I close to anything? Let's see. Uh, why do I keep saying let's see? Stop saying let's see. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to start Eternity Challenge 3. Here. Hopefully this is going to be pretty good because of all the boosts I have. So E340, E460, E530, I need E675. This might be a little bit rough. I can get to E600 quickly, but after that it's a little bit slower. So even with all of this rewards, like this, this had an E24 time multiplier to my infinity dimensions bef before I actually like enter the challenge so it, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little bit rough but actually no I'm already up to e626 infinity points it takes about seven seconds to get every replicate not every replicated galaxy to get one replicated galaxy and I do keep half on infinity because I do a fully decked out time study tree. While I'm waiting, I can also get something like this, but I don't really want to do that yet because it's going to lower my infinity dimension multipliers, and I don't want to lower my infinity dimension multipliers <laughs> because of the upgrade, because of this upgrade, the infinity dimension multiplier based on unspent attorney points. I really need everything I can do to get all the way to E... What is it? 675 infinity points. So I'm going to crunch here at E649. I'm going to do another crunch at E650. I, I just want to get more of these replicate. I just want to get these upgrades so I can get replicated galaxies quicker. So hopefully, I'm now only 15 orders of magnitude away. I should be able to get. I should be able to get it pretty quickly. So, or not quickly, but it shouldn't be too bad to at least complete the challenge. Here it is. E675 infinity points. That only took like 30 seconds. So, there we go. Completing the challenge. Now, maybe I can do this and get any time dimension upgrades I can get at this point. I can only get these two, and that, that's okay. The next thing I want to do is try Eternity Challenge 5. Because if I can do one completion of that, I can get this time study. You gain Replicanti three times faster. That's pretty powerful. So I'm going to want to do that. So I'm just going to get these time studies here. So I can get the required antimatter galaxies. It shouldn't be too, too bad. I need 160 to unlock Attorney Challenge 5 for the first time. It still is actually kind of rough, but... Whatever, here it is. Attorney Challenge 5. So this is this is Antimatter Galaxy cost increase scaling. Starts immediately and dimension boost cost scaling are massively increased. So I have only 17 time theorems. What do I want to do with them? I could go I think with 17, I think the best option. I mean I could buy like one or two more. But I have exactly 17. That is enough to get three studies down. On the infinity, infinity dimension path. I could do time dimension path, but since antimatter galaxies are nerfed, time dimensions are going to be weaker. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I can do this. So I need E750 infinity points. I'm going to start out E500, E600, E680, E720. This is very easy. Barely had to do anything to get there, which is crazy i 
it's to the point where I may want to do another completion of this challenge because this is this is quick, very quick. But I'm not. But I think there's a big scaling with this, so I can do this. The next completion of the challenge is E1150 Infinity Points. Yeah, I'm not going to get there anytime soon. The reward is that Distant Galaxy cost scaling starts later, which means that I can um, I can get more galaxies, basically, which is always a good thing. So now what do I want to do? Maybe I just want to load this, but also I can get this. Finally, this means I can get 5.9 replicated replicated galaxies per second. This is going to really speed things up for now. Then, and unfortunately, this is going to be the last Replicante boost I can get all the way until um, this time study. You gain Replicante 20 times faster. This is pretty far away, as you could see. So I think what I want to do at this point is maybe more attorney challenge too because now now i've had several rewards from some of the other attorney challenges and i still have enough time theorems so yeah infinity dimensions are disabled i have time dimension paths so yeah here we go i'm i'm, I'm gonna start this start and what do i need e1150 this shouldn't be too bad hopefully especially if i can get replicated galaxies and especially, especially since i'm getting them quicker than usual because of the you know the the boost i just got the you gain replica replicante three times faster yeah this is pretty easy actually so there we go without much trying i can get to e1150 eternity or not eternity points infinity points which means i can boost this reward which is kind of weak actually at least at this point so now now what do i want to now what do i want to do maybe i can i could try something like attorney challenge six because i have done attorney challenge five i really don't want to infinity grind for attorney challenge four again that might be the strategy though which ah i hate it i hate 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 this this stupid infinity grinding before I do that, though, I'm going to build this time study tree for Eternity Challenge, Eternity Challenge 4. And I can get this. I can probably get this. I could also get something like this. Like, and then I have two more time theorems, which I probably want to... Sp I don't know if I want to spend it here, here, or here. Because I actually can spend a little bit more. But, yeah, I... I now need to go back into the stupid infinity grinding and yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, I'm back like a couple of hours later. I have only 180 million affinities. It's enough to get to the challenge and I'm going to gain 9 million banks of affinities, which is, I guess, pretty good. So finally, I can start this stupid challenge. So... I need to get to E3300 infinity points in 12 infinities or less. So I kind of I have to be a little bit more careful over what I do. I'm thinking I don't get this because it's already quick to get replicated galaxies, at least later on. And I have, I have idle path where it's not really that useful. Instead, I could do something like a time study 21, which is going to give me a lot of yeah, I think Time Study 21 is the way to go because it just gives me a big infinity dimension multiplier. Wait, am I... I, I have the auto buyer on to crunch every 5 seconds. Crap. I've already used 7 out of 12 infinities. I still should hopefully be fine. Um, okay, you might have been screaming at me for that. But, yeah, I... I that, that was a kind of big mistake. Whatever, I... I still have four more infinities to get like 400, no, 350 ores of magnitude. So just be a little bit more careful. And yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm going to be fine here. E3200. I only need 100 more ores of magnitude and I'll, I will, I will be fine. And I think if I fail a challenge, I don't need to regrind infinity points. That would be the worst thing ever if I failed the challenge and 
I needed to regrind the infinity points. So I think now I should go for Eternity Challenge 6, which I don't really remember much about it. I just know you have to go Active Path to unlock it. And I, yeah, we'll just, well, first of all, I gotta get my, gotta get this back again. Oops, not at. Not add a certain amount of tenure points. That's no. Just want to crunch so I I can get some replicated galaxies to unlock Attorney Challenge Six. Probably gonna need this to unlock Attorney Challenge Six, and I still have some spare time theorems, so I will do that. There we go, Attorney Challenge Six. I can unlock it, and this is you cannot gain antimatter galaxies normally, and the cost of upgrading your max replicanti galaxies is massively reduced. Okay, yeah. That, that's what that is. So, here we go. This shouldn't be too, too bad. It's actually kind of bad to, to begin with. But I could get more time studies. So, I'm, I'm struggling to reach E308 at this point. E308 infinity points. I need E850. However, I think once I can really start getting replicated galaxies, it's going to become a lot quicker. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with my time theorems. I could go something like 141, 151, and then I have three left. So maybe something like you gain Replicani three times faster. But I, I, I really think that's the best choice. It's going to give me a big burst of infinity points to begin with, which will already help me get start getting Replicanti. And then I, yeah, it's probably worthwhile to get this because I... I need to start gaining replicated galaxies, and it's kind of tricky to do that beforehand. I'm not sure if going infinity dimension route was really the best, but we'll just, we'll see about that. 525, 528, 530, slowly getting this down. It's now a replicated galaxy every 7 seconds. I'm just crunching, basically. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm just spamming the crunch button. Yeah, let, let, let's see what, what I'll be at when, when I get all replicated galaxies. Okay, I can finally reach max replicated galaxies here. I can get E640 infinity points. So this is, this is going to make this go from 7 seconds to 2 seconds. This is going to really speed things up. And I'm actually not quite sure if I can quite make it. Because... I still need 210 orders of magnitude of infinity points, and I am, like, even with, even with this amount of replicated galaxies, it's still gonna take me a while. Well, it looks like I can actually reach a decent E733, 734 infinity points, so maybe it's possible I'm now gaining 1.6 replicated galaxies per second. I'm still 116 orders of magnitude away. I hopefully should be able to do it. Maybe. Let's see. 770, 780. We can get, okay, I, I actually I think this is possible. E809. I now only need 41 orders of magnitude of infinity points. This shouldn't be too bad. I could be able to do it this crunch. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, boom. There it is. Beaten Attorney Challenge 6 first time. The reward is further reduce the Antimatter Dimension cost multiplier growth, which is pretty powerful, actually. So I want to try just... I, I first want to try Attorney Challenge 1 because I haven't done that in a while and the goal doesn't scale very much. So I have to go in infinity, infinity Dimensions again. And it should be pretty easy. I can just do every single study. I can get this, and this should be E2400. I'm already up to E1700. This really is not bad. It's, it's, it's a lot more tolerable because of how quickly I can get the replicated galaxies. Um, well, it looks like I can make it to E2400 easily. I'm not sure how easily... I can make it to E2600, which is the next goal. Actually, this looks possible. So, I, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to go for the last completion of Attorney Challenge 1, which will be the last time I'll ever have to... Well, not ever, because 
you know, reality is a prestige layer and it's going to reset everything. But anyway, tourney challenge one fifth time. E2600 infinity points. It's going to keep boosting this time dimension multiplier. It's based on time spent this eternity, which means unfortunately that what I did previously helped me not at all, but it, it looks like I can make it to E2600. I'm already up to E2348. And then next run, almost E2500. Now just 100 orders of magnitude away. E2544. And then E2578. And maybe two more runs. Or just one run. E2600. There it is. Eternity Challenge 5. Not, one, not 5, what am I saying? Eternity Challenge 1 is complete. I, will, I won't have to deal with it. This reality. Which still is going to take a while. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an eternity point run. Because I've completed several eternity challenges. This is going to... This should be a pretty powerful run. So, yeah. Next episode, I will start even more eternity challenges, I guess. There's really not much else. It's just... Just, just all about the eternity challenges right now. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.